Hello everyone, welcome back. I hope you've had a great half term, relaxing half term in the sunshine. Uh, we are back to thinking about our interactive media products. So what you'll need out in front of you is your portfolio, which hopefully should look something like this. Um, and you're going to need a few browser tabs open in front of you. So the task today is to move on to unit four. So the first thing you need to do is get your portfolio out in front of you. You're going to scroll right down to the very, very bottom. Um, whatever slide this is, this is um, Joel's I'm using here, and this is slide number 42. Um, you're just going to hit enter, and you're going to have a brand new slide here, and you're going to call this unit 4. Now, unit 4 is not something we've looked at before, so this is completely new, completely fresh. Um, and the whole purpose of unit 4 is to present and to promote an interactive media product. So you've got to imagine that you finish your website now and you are going to present it to uh, somebody who wants to who wants to buy it essentially or you're going to showcase your skills. So present and promote an interactive media product. That is what you're going to write here. Present and promote an interactive media product. Okay, so that's going to be your title, that's unit four, and that's what you're going to write in the next slide. The whole purpose of today's lesson is to research what jobs you could do with the skills that you have acquired during this course. Um, school is all about preparing you for the real world, and so what you need to do is to think about what have you done uh, doing this interactive media course which you could use within a, a job in the real world. Um, so what you're going to do is you're going to go to two websites. Um, the first one is read.co.uk. And the second one is a website called Indeed. So that's indeed.co.uk. So just to clarify, it's read.co.uk and indeed.co.uk. And what these sites are, they are job sites. Uh, so this is where you would go if you're looking for a job. Um, you type in the sort of thing that you're looking for, where you're looking for it, and it will come up with a list of jobs in that area, and in the skill area, but also in the geographical area as well. Um, now, I appreciate you're probably thinking I'm in year 10. I'm not needing to look for jobs, but I think it's important to recognize the sort of things that you could go into, uh, given the skill sets that you have now acquired. So let's have a look at the example that's given here, um, a web developer. Well you are a web developer really, you've developed a website. So let's start with this then. If you go on to read.co.uk and let's type in web developer, let's see what comes up. So don't worry too much about um, where it is at the moment, uh, this is something um, that uh, I've looked at already, so let's have a look at this web developer position. Okay, so this is down south in Devon, but it's between 25 and 30,000 pounds a year. Um, it says it's not a design role, but you'll be working alongside designers, and your responsibilities will be to use the Adobe Creator Suite to turn designs into high quality, pixel perfect, responsive websites. Well, you've used the Adobe Creator Suite, you know how to use Photoshop and you know how to manipulate uh, photos, some better than others. Um, I'm thinking about the uh, um, manipulation that you did to Mark Zuckerberg, for example, Charlie. Um, I wonder if that would work here. But the point is that you have the skills to apply to a little bit of this job. So what you need to do is you need to take a screenshot of this and then pop it into this part of your um, of your portfolio with a little explanation just as this person's done here. So I notice that the agency is looking for someone who could use the latest technology to create engaging websites. So you're essentially doing a commentary on why you think you could do this job. Okay, so just to clarify, you're going on to read.co.uk, you're going to type in web developer, you're going to choose a job that you'd like the look of, and then you are going to commentate on the skills that you could use. So for example, 
um, HTML, CSS, and JavaScript for you would be a um, Photoshop um, using the Creative Cloud, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. One job, um, keep going, keep playing around with this. So um, let's type in another skill here. Let's just type in Photoshop, for example. Um, this is into indeed.co.uk and see what comes up. Uh, okay, a few other ideas here. Uh, let's have a look at this junior content editor um, based from home, which is great. Um, it's a working internship uh, because of the current COVID-19 situation. Uh, let's have a look at the requirements here. Plan creative content, video, images, and graphics. Yep, you can do that. Upload creative content. Yep, you can do that. Create new concepts for future content series. Yeah, this looks good. Experience using Adobe Suite editing software, Premiere Pro, Final Cut, Photoshop, After Effects. Yep, you know how to do all of that. So this is something that you could certainly apply for in, um, in, in years to come. So go ahead, take a screenshot of that. Um, see what it is that you can comment on. So let's have a look what this person's done here. This one, this example is a digital reporter, but um, you could do anything that you find really that you'd like the look of. Take the screenshot of it and then comment on why you think uh, your skill set would match with that particular job. So what I'm asking you to do is to really research the market. Now that you've acquired some skills, some editing skills, some um, software development skills, which roles in the real world um, require those that particular skill set the skill set that you've acquired over the over the last uh, few months so go on to these two websites it's read.co.uk and indeed.co.uk but you can use any recruitment website really that you can think of take a few screenshots and then comment on what it is that you can do that this job is asking you to do okay if you can do that for maybe three jobs um, that would be really good. Don't worry if it takes you um, over the two lessons because we can do this on the Monday and the Wednesday lesson this week. Um, so it might take slightly longer. Just to mention here as well, uh, go ahead and, and branch out as well. This person has talked about um, an animator. So go ahead and type in animator. See if there are any animation jobs uh, that you think you could uh, get into. So this is really just a... Um, it should be a, a relatively fun thing to do. Um, go ahead and see which jobs um, you could apply for given your skill set. Now, one thing I'm not interested in is you just looking for the most well-paid jobs. I'm looking at you, Cohen, now, who might just be saying, All right, I'm only going to do jobs which have £80,000. That's not the purpose of this task. The purpose of this task is to look at jobs which satisfy the skill set that you've acquired. So don't look for things that are going to be paying you £120,000 um, at director level. Um, have a look at a sort of a development level role um, and then maybe we can work up to a director level role in time. Okay, I hope that makes sense. Um, remember it's all going in this bit here, so put your screenshot in here. And next to your screenshot, you can do your commentary on why you think it would be a suitable role for you. So between two and three jobs, um, this is going to take two lessons, both the Monday lesson and the Wednesday lesson. Any questions, you know what to do. Um, drop me an email. Good luck.